I, I mean, you're it. in already, aren't you? I love it. I love the music. Dave's so joined good. us now. Dave, congratulations. Good morning and thank you. Congratulations. This is so exciting. I mean, can you even believe this is actually happening to you? You've got a Hollywood movie being made about your life. I could burst. And oh. today I can talk about it. Finally. You, do not, you couldn't up to now, no? I've been coming in talking about all sorts of consumer things <laughs> with you. <laughs> and, and then after, I've been saying, and this happened, and that happened. <laughs> but today... So it's the big one. Let's rewind. How did this all come about? Like, Hollywood came knocking on your door, didn't they? It really did. Piers Ashworth, which is the writer of Mission Impossible, mm -hmm. right, he was out in Hollywood having dinner with the voiceover guy from the original Bank of Death series. Right. Who fine strike made with me for Channel 4. Yeah. And what happened was... He just made a movie here in the UK called Fisherman's Friends yeah. that did really lovely. well. That's a lovely film. And yeah. they wanted another feel good movie. And they're having dinner, and he said, Pierce said, Do you know anybody that's got something going on? And he said, mm. You need to speak to Dave. <laughs> <laughs> so he watched me documentaries, he read me book, and he rang me up. He said, Dave, I want to make a movie about your life. Now, this happens all the time in Burnley. <laughs> and you get these calls from Hollywood. And I said, you better get yourself over to Burnley then. So did you believe it was actually him, first of all, when he's phoning you on your number? Well, do you know what? When you come from Burnley, you do get these sorts of things happening a lot, <laughs> so it's a bit of a daily occurrence. <laughs> it's so amazing. But how did it work? You sat down and went, right, you know, let's take your book or let's take the documentary or, what, you know, how do you, how, do you, how do you tell your story? Well, he came over and he sat with me and he said, look, we're going to make it into a Hollywood movie. So it's going to be full of glamour and it's going to be a love story in yep. it and there's going to be a happy ending. And the thing at the end, and I can't tell you just yet, but there's something happens at the end which is absolutely bonkers. But you're going to have to watch it on Monday it, night Did it really see. happen? Did it really happen? The thing I can't it? tell you that bit. You just said you could tell yeah, us. but I can tell you loads you. of things, but I can't tell you all of it. It's so... Is it when you met... Me and Dermot for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you remember when we met at the first? You were in my helicopter. Oh, yeah, but it was very frightening. <laughs> it was very frightening. You were very brave. You, you did calm me down. I did, but you uh, were very brave. Dave, I mean, did you hear about us compensating? You've got a big car, haven't you? What car do you drive? <laughs> <laughs> We were Listen, talking about I heard Giles and everybody <laughs> early. I know what you mean. It always ends up at filth. Got to go there. <laughs> Back Dave, to talk, the mover. Talk about the cast. <laughs> Rory Kinnear plays you, which is unbelievable. I just saw the great Joe Hartley there as well. Yeah, Phoebe Rory Kinnear. He looks more like me than I do. <laughs> he came up to my house and he knocked on the door. He said, Dave, meet Dave. No. <laughs> and I'm not even kidding. He's brilliant. And I said, look, you're now living the dream. Yeah. From Bond... To, he plays Tanner in Bond. He plays Tanner in Bond, yeah. From Bond to Burnley. Yeah. You're now peaking. He's a great actor, though. I mean, did you have a shortlist of people you wanted to play? I watched Be it. Be realistic, Dave. <laughs> Listen, they were just... It could have been Tom, you know, because... Tom who? Cruise? <laughs> what do you mean? Why are you laughing? <laughs> but that'd have been too much like me. We'd have been like twins. <laughs> so it were Rory next. <laughs> Do you know, Rory, mm. he's such a wonderful, wonderful actor. And not just Rory, there's Joel, Jo Hartley, who plays my wife. She's out of Afterlife. She is amazing. Oh, she's brilliant. Yeah. She? she plays such a wonderful part. You could put your arms around her and give her a cuddle. Yeah. You know, and she got on so well with my wife. She was ringing her Aww. about the clothes that she wears and she wanted to get it right. But there's so much of Burnley in this. Yeah. Netflix have just been amazing. They just said... Let's do it where you want to do it. Let's yeah. do it where it happened. So we flew Phoebe Denever in, who's one of the leading ladies in yeah. the movie, from Bridgerton. So she's coming over from <laughs> LA, and there she is in Burnley Market with me. It rained, having a chip butter. <laughs> <laughs> eh? She'd never be tried so... a chip butter before. Did you find it quite emotional when you actually watched the film? You do get a tear in your eye. There's some really special sections. There's one in particular. There's a thing that happens at the end, and I remember filming it, and I looked up at the stage, watching it being done, and I just thought, that is... I've peaked. That is... Watching that bit, I just thought, nothing else in life is ever going to peak that. I'd say Monday is going to be really surreal for you when it goes out. 16th of January is going to be written here, yeah. you know? It's, it's going to be wonderful. Dave, remind people, if they don't know your story too well, just, just very briefly, you started your own bank, right? 
Well, I started, I'm on, I'm building a bank. I'm building the first new high street bank for 120 years. We're going through the process. I left school at 16, absolutely useless. Didn't have the price of a chip butter. And we went from that to a builder's labourer, up and down ladders, bucket of cement in each hand every day on £27.50 a week for the YTS. We went from that to building a bank. And if this movie does anything, I would love it to inspire other people to do yeah. what, what they really feel they can do. And it gives inspiration. I, you know, they, Just I, because you don't get any qualifications, though, doesn't mean you're not great. No, That's I ain't got thing. anything. I ain't got nothing. But look what you've achieved. Look what yeah. you've done. And Burnsley must be so proud of you. Burnley Market, Burnley Train Station, Burnley Football Club. It's all in it. I think it's important to stress as well, like, all your profits go back into the community. Yeah. yeah it's a community bank. It must be hard starting a bank in the community because you've got loan people money, the bank has to make a profit. You don't want to say, I guess you don't really want to say no to anyone, but you've got to say no to some people. How, how do you keep the principles of, of making yeah, money and, that's and, a really that, good question, and putting that money back into a community, but also, you know, you know... I know exactly what you mean. Bank. You know, David H, David Enshaw, he's my right-hand man. He's been in banking since he was 15, he's yeah. 75. He, were, he started off at the Yorkshire Bank, at the front of the, uh, the, the, the till there, uh -huh. and he's gone all the way through. He does manually underwriting. He looks at people as people. Yeah. You know, and if they've had a problem in the past, that's OK. Yeah. We can deal with that. We can look. They've got the cell back on the feet. Maybe they got divorced. Maybe they've had children and it's cost more. Maybe they've had a problem with a credit card. Sure. We look at people as people. We don't look at a computer makes its mind up 300 miles away. Yeah. How can a computer decide if you've had a problem in the past? So David H trained the staff. Without the Burnley Savings and Loans team, Andrew Davies, and all the team there, without all the team, we could not do what we do. I couldn't do. I just stand at the front, right? And we fight the good cause. And the movie talks about it as we go through it. And it, it's inspirational. If, if you had, there's just over 1,000 large towns and cities in the UK. If you had a Bank of Dave or a Bank of Allison or a Bank of Dermot in each one of those towns and cities, not owned by me, but owned by a local person who wants to be philanthropic like I do with the profits and then helps look at oh, people. It feels I like... That. It feels like we've... We <laughs> yeah, had, that's you. It feels oh, like, that. though, that we had that as community, didn't we? We had the old building societies or in our yeah. credit unions and we've lost that. It's great that we're bringing that back. Yeah, it's important. And the problem is, I, I got a letter the other day from uh, Park School in Colne, just round the corner there from the bank, uh, from the Bank of Dave, and, uh, and round the corner from the garage there. And they said, look, Dave, the kids are coming to school starving. I'm ever so sorry, I don't want to buy a bus Aww. and I don't need a loan, but the kids are coming to school starving. It's anything you can do. I said, what do you need? And they said, we need an industrial toaster, we need food, we need to feed the kids. And I said, there's no problem. We took care of it, we bought, we spent thousands of pounds on industrial machinery, Aww. I bought food for a year for them, and I said, three months before you run out of it, come back again and I'll buy another year's supply yeah. of food. This is what financial institutions should be doing. We shouldn't be giving bankers 30 million pound bonuses. Yeah. And, and they say, if you don't give them them, Dave, they're gonna disappear. Well, people who rob banks go to prison, but banks who get paid bonuses, it's just wrong, Yeah. you know? It, it just needs to change, and that's what Burnley Savings and Loan stands for. Well, it gives its say. profits to good causes. We feed kids, we feed the homeless, and we try and make a difference. And now you've got this Netflix film out, Bank of Dave, and it's out on Monday. We're so very excited for you. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you so much. And thanks for Brilliant. coming on. I'll be giving you a wave. <laughs> we can't wait. Thank you so much. Thank Dave. you.